Hey, it's me, Rob, and I'm back for another walking tour of iDrive. And today I'm here with my wife, Taylor. She's coming with us on a walking tour. And uh, we're starting at Murphy's, which is back that way. You can't see it, but it's over that way. And we're right by the Gator Golf. And we're going to head toward the Big McDonald's instead of uh, to the right like we have been for the last two videos. Um, I think we looked at the Gator Golf last time. If we didn't, it's a uh, putt-putt course. And uh, you can feed the gators here in the front if you want. It's pretty cool. It's one of Taylor's favorite things to do. Mm -hmm. You get a little uh, cane pole with a bobby pin on it. And they put like a hot dog deal on it. They're my babies. And then there's all sorts of little gators in here. There's some big, well, some kind of big ones too. There is a medical marijuana dispensary here on iDrive. Right over here by the Gator Golf. If you're an international guest, that won't matter for you. If you are a local, maybe it will. I don't know. Right over here across the street, Buffalo Wild Wings, or the B-dubs, as uh, we call it. You know, Buffalo Wild Wings. What do you call it? You ever call it B-dubs before? I guess. Yeah. I don't know if that's like a... I'm from Ohio. I don't know if that's like a Midwest thing, or if it's like they call it B-dubs everywhere. But that's what we call it. And there is some stuff behind the Buffalo Wild Wings. There's like a uh, magic dinner, and uh, it looks like there's like a hookah lounge and some other stuff back there. I'm gonna go back there on the way back because I don't feel like crossing the street right now. Over here is an abandoned entertainment area. There used to be like go-karts and stuff over here. Uh, Magical Midway, it was called before. It's totally empty. I've lived here for three years, and this place has been closed the whole time that I've lived here. On the other side of the building area, there is a slingshot, which we'll see here in a second, that is still open and does still operate. Does it? Yes, it sure does. And I, for one, am scared of slingshots because oh, what if one of them things, what if something happens to one of them wires? I know it probably won't, but what if it does? What do you think of slingshots? I wouldn't do it. Terrifying, right? No, thank you. No, thank you. There's a travel lodge and a pizza hut over here to the right. I suggest the stuffed crust pepperoni. It's simple, it's basic, but it is amazing. It's my favorite. There's also a Chili's over here. I like Chili's. What do you think of Chili's? It's all right. She also doesn't like Applebee's, which breaks my heart. I don't like it. I just I love Applebee's. I don't care what anybody says. They got the best French onion soup. We're going glasses up now, Taylor. We're going shades up. It's not even sunny. It's cloudy. I don't know why I put them down to begin with, to be honest with you. Um, Chili's is cool. They used to have that song, I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. You remember that? I want my baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. You remember that? That was cool. Yes. Oh, there's a the Chili's over here. I don't know what Afro TV television is. I have no idea. There's a sign here for some of the stuff that's over in this area. You got the Enclave, that's back that way. It's a um, like hotel area. They do sell some of them, you can own them. I don't know what that guy's problem was. We're walking here, you know? But that's the thing in Orlando, if you're gonna visit here, just be prepared for that to happen like a lot. Um, Let's go back into this little shopping complex, Taylor. There's some stuff over here. There's a gift shop that I'm assuming looks pretty similar to the one that's connected to Murphy's. I am convinced that all of these gift shops do like a uh, gift shop starter pack and they all have like a lot of the same stuff in them. But there's another one of the iDrive gift shops right here. There's an Asian buffet, which I've never been to. I've picked up here before. Yeah? Have you? So you've been inside? Door, door dash, yeah. How's it look? Is it clean in there? Not really. Not really? Well, um, did you happen to see any prices when you were in there or no? Uh, no? No. I would imagine it's not super expensive. It is a buffet. And uh, you can smash while you're in there. You know, you can smash because it's a buffet. All you care to eat. Looks like there is a Mexican restaurant of some sort here as well, mm -hmm. but it might, oh, it doesn't open until four. It doesn't open until 4 p.m. 
I don't know if there's any more menu out or not, but we can look at some of these pictures real quick. Looks like they got some tacos, uh, quesadillas, uh, ramen, which is cool. And then here's another gift shop. I think so. Looks like there's a secondary gift shop over here. So there's two over here that are like really close together. And then there's a little supermarket attached to this as well. I think you can buy cigarettes and stuff in here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the entrance is over here. I'm not gonna go inside. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing about? Because I said cigarettes? Yeah. She thinks how I say cigarettes is funny. I don't think it's that big of a how do you That's say not normal. how do you say cigarette? Do I say cigarette weird? Go ahead and let me know in the comments if I cigarette say cigarette weird or not. She laughs every time I say it, which is yeah. kind of ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's anything back here or not. Um Stairs. Let's see. There's not. Oh there is. There's an entrance to a uh, supermarket and food mart over here. There's an ATM back here as well if you're looking for some cash. We're just going to go around the building. We're just going to go all the way around. We're already over here. Why not? Yeah, there's like a... There's some stuff back there. There's like some frozen stuff. It looks like there's like bagels and milk and Coke and stuff like that. If you're uh, staying near here and you're looking to pick up some drinks and stuff... You want to go back the other way? What, there's nothing over here or what? Oh, wow. Just the back part of the rest of the stuff. Back that way, if you keep going out further that way, which we're not going to walk all the way over there, there is like a Pirates experience. Um, you can watch a show. It's a dinner show. It's a dinner show. Um, I hear good things about the Pirate show. Um, here it's a little over the top. Um, it's a little corny, but I hear it's a good night out. That's what I hear anyways. Have you heard anything about the... I heard it's fun, but... I do know that they get rented out a lot for, like, corporate events. I do know that. I'm sure the employees love employee appreciation being a night out at a over-the-top pirate party. I'm sure they love it. Let's just, let's just take one second here and just look at some of these mugs. Because a couple of these already caught my eye. I like the Marie one. Where's it at? Right there. Ooh. That's fun. Look at this Winnie the Pooh one. I finally convinced my wife here, Taylor, to watch Christopher Robin. Oh my gosh, they've heard that though. They've, you, you see that in every video. Yeah, but I just like to brag about it because you love that movie. And I was right. And that means that you should have just watched it when I originally yeah, said yeah. it's a good movie. That's what she, oh, she, she always does this to me. I don't have to wear her down to get her to watch these movies. Oh, yeah, huh, I wonder what's over here. You want to go in here real, over here real quick? There's like a little alleyway here. Ooh, here's a little look into the buffet. There's some stuff here they got. It looks like they got tons of food. Taylor, I think you were wrong, to be honest with you. It looks nice in there. Oh, well, we also thought Ichiban was nice. Don't ever eat an Ichiban. Just saying. Ever. It's terrible. This looks pretty good. Um. One of these days, maybe we'll come here and eat here. They got some sushi over here. Looks like they got, oh no, it's dumpling. It's the dessert. They don't have sushi, guys. It's, uh, it's like the dessert area. This is, uh, looks like another little grocery shop area over here. Uh, liquor store, maybe. Yeah. It's like a liquor store over here. This is where you can come for uh, if you need cigarettes or you want to buy some bottled drinks of some sort, wine, champagne, beer. Ooh, they got Prime here too. So it's 21. I thought it was 18 for cigarettes. Nope, it's 21. So it's fun. It's been 21 for a while. Oh. Yep. I wouldn't know, I guess. <laughs> Deodorant. Um, if you're a Prime person and you're looking for grape, they have Grape Prime here for international guests that are interested in any of that. If not, go to Murphy's. They have other... Stuff. Yeah, we sell. We don't sell the Grape, unfortunately, but we do yeah, sell Prime at Murphy's. They have good flavors. There is a pizza joint here. 
Neapolitan style pizza. I was unaware that there was a pizza spot here. There's another thing here called King's Point. Looks like they got hamburgers and ice cream. Here's a look at their menu. Salads, appetizers. They got buffalo chicken fingers, buffalo chicken wings, mozzarella sticks. Ooh, they got pastas. Man, they got all sorts of stuff over here. You ever heard of King's Point before, Taylor? Yo. This place looks cool. We never ate here before. We might need to add this to the list of all the places we haven't ate. It looks nice and clean in there. Here's a little tattoo parlor. Tattoos, piercings. It's called Ink Spot. If you're gonna go get a tattoo, I recommend you go to Good Vibrations, which is that way. Um, and if you go, ask for my friend Jamie, and tell him Rob sent you. That place is really cool. It's got good vibes. Obviously, it's called Good Vibrations. We got another little gift shop over here called Bargain World. It looks like Taylor's gonna pop in there real quick, take a peek around. While she's in there looking around, we're just gonna do some window shopping here. We got some Harry Potter mugs, Captain America down here, Stitch. Not terrible prices either. It looks like the Stitch coffee mug is only $12. They got some stuff down here for like three, $4. They got a little fun uh, magical mini Harry Potter thing here. Grogu. That's pretty neat. Ooh. I just saw this. I think that is... I was going to say toothless, but that definitely is not how to train your dragon. Yeah, Grogu there. They got the gauntlet for Captain America. We might lose Taylor here because uh, she's in the gift shop. So who knows? how long she's gonna be in there, to be honest with you. She loves shopping, that girl. Bargain World, this place is called. Then across the street from here, there's another pizzeria, the Titanic exhibit. Here's a better look at that for you. It's getting a little sunny again. Here we go, glasses down. And the Juicy Crab. The Juicy Crab is a seafood boil place. I love the Juicy Crab. They have really good oysters. They have uh, a seafood boil bag. So they boil they boil this stuff in a bag and they bring it out to you. This is the bag. This is my symbol for a bag. And uh, they bring it out to your table. It's really good. It is a little expensive, but it's totally worth the money. I really, really enjoy the Juicy Crab. If you're into seafood or oysters, that's definitely the place to go. Official Disney merchandise over here at Bargain World. We're gonna keep moving. She can catch up Over here to the left. There's a Chuck E. Cheese. I myself have not been to a Chuck E. Cheese in a very long time I'm a 33 year old man and uh, you can't go in a Chuck E. Cheese without children anymore I'm pretty sure that you have to have kids with you in order to go into Chuck E. Cheese. I Don't think adults can just go in by themselves. And then over here to the right, across the street from the Chuck E. Cheese, is Coco Key Resort, which is a water park. Um, I myself have never been to Coco Key, but I have heard that the rooms are nice enough and the water park's pretty cool. So if you have small children and you're interested in staying at a water resort of some sort, Coco Key is right here on iDrive. Then you don't have to spend the extra money to go to save Volcano Bay. Uh, or Typhoon Lagoon, which I think is the Disney water park that's open right now. Chuck E. Cheese right here. Coco Key is rather large. It takes up a lot of space over there. So we're going to focus on the left-hand side here now. There is a Sugar Planet, which I've never been in. We're gonna take a look here. We're just gonna take a quick peek in. The, the doors are open. We're just gonna survey here from the outside. Now, as you can imagine, Sugar Planet has all sorts of candy. Um, there's some fun themed stuff on the walls. There's a mermaid up there. I might get flagged for that. 
for the music. There she is. We found her. She was not in the gift shop as long as I thought she was going to be. Did you find anything cool in there? So does it does it look like uh yes. okay yep the reason why I left is uh, a lady that was in there was like yelling at everybody oh wow I don't know, it was, really was she a worker yeah it was really weird so I just kind of like left huh. looks like the workers at uh yeah. that gift sh gift shop uh, might be a little aggressive here's a CC's pizza if you have a large family and you are interested in smashing some pizza CC's is the place to come what's it like six bucks. It was six dollars back in the day. It might be more than that now. I will look it up and drop a uh, little thing here at the bottom of the screen to let you know how much it costs for the buffet at CC's Pizza. But I do know it's very reasonably priced, and it's free refills on drinks. Um, if you're an American, you're already kind of expecting that. If you're an international guest, it's good for you to know. Uh, free refills on drinks. Still Coco Key just across the street, like I told you guys. It's a pretty big resort. And then another i drive gift shop everything in this one is 299 or less which is pretty crazy everything 299 or less in this particular gift shop is taylor gonna bite on it is she gonna go inside Ooh, my favorite thing to do with these is window shop got some spider-man sippy cups here Pooh and Tigger. Ooh, Perry the Platypus. That's pretty cool. I am a huge Phineas and Ferb fan. I've not watched a lot of Phineas and Ferb as an adult man, but I do love Phineas and Ferb. So, um, we have Phineas and Ferb going to Typhoon Lagoon for the H2O Glow Night thing. And you can talk Rob into going. Where's that at? Typhoon Lagoon. Oh, yeah, the water park at Disney. And that's the one that's open right now, right? It's not Blizzard Beach? Yeah. Okay. And it's May of 2024 yeah. right now. So um, only one of them is open at a time, which is kind of annoying, but it also is what it is. Oh, there's another uh, gift shop there. Now, down here to the left is a spot that I work at Murphy's Pub, Orlando. And we are very friendly with Oh Shucks, which is a karaoke bar. They do not open until I believe five o'clock, but um, they get a lot of singers. And it is a fun night out if you want to come to Oh Shucks. But before you get to Oh Shucks, it looks like there is a Indian restaurant here. Take a look at some of the food, pictures of some of the food here. And they are also currently not open right now. It's around one o'clock. I'm not seeing any hours. I don't know what time they're open. But here's a look at the menu. Prices don't look too bad. They got breads, appetizers, chicken specialties, uh, rice specialties, tandoori, fish and shrimp, lamb and goat. They also have a very large assortment of vegetarian dishes. If you're a vegetarian, uh, this is uh, definitely a good option for you to come to. They have some alcoholic beverages here, wine and beer, as well as uh, some lunch specials. So if you're looking for an Indian spot, I know a lot of the international guests are looking for Indian restaurants. Um, that's definitely the place to go. Here's those shucks. We're, we're very friendly with those shucks there at Murphy's Pub. They are open till two in the morning as well. They're open until 1.50, apparently, it says on the door. Yeah, 5 p.m. They open at 5 o'clock. It is it is pretty big. Yeah, it's a rather large institution. And no matter how old you are, if you're going to come to O'Shucks, you have to have an ID. So if you're an international guest and you're interested in coming to O'Shucks, make sure you bring your ID with you or you will not be allowed to come in. No matter how old you are, every customer must have a valid driver's license or passport in order to enter into those shops. It doesn't look like there's really anything over here. Nope. America runs on Dunkin'. I love me some Dunkin'. What's your favorite thing to get at Dunkin' Donuts? Iced coffee. Iced coffee. What kind of iced coffee? Just like regular old iced coffee? Like iced coffee, 
my French vanilla and a little bit of cream. And she really likes their hash browns. Oh, well, they got good hash browns. So how do they come? Are they like the the like the the little ones? Are yeah, they like? Yeah, they're like the round. Yeah. Kind of like uh, Hardee's. And they're like a little wet. Just, you said they're, they're soggy. Yeah, they've been kind of sitting. I don't know. They just they're just soggy. If you know, you know. <laughs> so if you're a hash brown person, you definitely want to try some hash browns there. Cheap. Looks like there is another Indian restaurant right here. Sizzler Tandoori. It might be closed. Um, but I mean, they got tables and stuff out front. Well, they're not open right now. It's definitely still in business. I will find out on the old Google and I will put a note at the bottom of the screen on this one as well. There's a hookah lounge right next to this uh, other Indian restaurant. It's called Cosmo. I don't see any hours for this one posted either. So this will be another, I'll do some research and I will add a note to the video for the hours. And yet another iDrive gift shop right next to it with uh, some coffee mugs and stuff out front. Looks like they got t-shirts, keychains. And there is another supermarket here as well. They got uh, Pringles and Oreos and milk. Uh, you can get Strombo cider here. Magners, but not for much longer, I would assume. Magners is no longer being sold in the United States. Woodchuck, the parent company, has decided to no longer import Magners. But here's a place if you're looking to buy lottery tickets or cigarettes, you can come on in here to uh, to this supermarket slash. Oh wow! Oh, it's one of the uh, what do they call them? Slingshots. They call them slingshots, but you can rent it. I don't know for how much. I'm trying to figure it out, but I can't. Find but if you're interested in renting a slingshot to drive around here while you're on your vacation in Orlando, there's a phone number right here. There's a website, but the website's not really working. You can rent it, 407-777-9905. This thing actually looks really cool. It's got kind of a long front on it, but I like it. A little slingshot. The logo looks a little bit like uh, Mercedes. I know it's not a Mercedes logo, but it kind of looks like one a little bit. Man, I want to rent it. There is a Candy Cream oh, Cafe. Ooh, there's a white one over here. Sorry. This is a Far Villa. It is an adult store. They have a lot of adult items in there. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail, but if you're interested in romantic gifts, lingerie, or intimacy items while you're on your vacation here on iDrive. Far Villa is the place to go. There's a little uh, kiosk over here for vapes. Does not look like it is open. We'll take a look at the front here in a second. I want to look at this white slingshot for a second. This looks pretty nice. Ooh, and this one's a four-seater. Was the other one a four-seater? No, the other one was just a two-seater. So this one's a four-seater slingshot. It's got some speakers here in the back. This is pretty nice. And uh, there is a rent me sign here on the top with a number and a website. So if you're interested in cruising around in the slingshot, you could also rent this white one with a four-seater if you have a larger party. And not just size, I mean like number of people. I'm really interested in that candy cream cafe. I didn't even know that was over here. I bet they got some cool candy in there. It looks like this is closed. The booth is for lease. So if you're looking for vape supplies, don't go to that one. This is also closed over here. This used to be Game Changers. It uh, was also going to be a 360 degree dining experience where you dine with all your senses. It looks like that didn't open, so that's still closed. I know Game Changers used to be there. That closed during COVID. This is one of the many Rosen hotels in the area. There's uh, Rosen Inn International. There's the Rosen at Point. There's the Rosen closest to Universal, which Taylor and I have stayed at. It was a very nice hotel. 
connected to that hotel is a hibachi restaurant called Shoguns. Yeah, sushi too. Right? They had wonderful sushi. The sushi was fantastic. The cocktails are boozy. I only needed two cocktails. I just needed two of them, and I was feeling really good. And as you can see, the Rosa International is a rather large hotel. Some buildings in the back there. You can see on top of this bus. It's sort of in my way. Taco Bell to the left. You want to get a drink? Yeah, go ahead. Go on in there. Here. That's what happens when you get a wife, y'all. That's the move. Just hand them your wallet. That's all you got to do. They got new slow roasted chicken here. If you're an international guest, I don't mind Taco Bell. Um, I'll actually smash some Taco Bell. I'm, I'm acting like I don't like Taco Bell. I do. Uh, I really like their crunchy tacos. They have uh, new cantina items here. They have like slow roasted chicken that they're featuring right now. But if you're an international guest, I recommend you going to Del Taco, which is down the road that way. And uh, if you want to know where Del Taco is, you can watch the International Drive Walking Tour Part 2. I almost fell just then. I came off the ledge. Uh, there's a, the walk, I Drive Walking Tour Part 2. We'll show you where Del Taco is. Manola? I don't know how to say this. Bar and restaurant. It's a Latin restaurant, lounge, bar, and hookah. But, it, uh... Oh, that's this, uh... La Petrona. La Petrona. It's the Latin restaurant, lounge, bar, and hookah. And uh, Manola is a different restaurant. I don't know what kind of food they have here. It is a bar and restaurant. Looks pretty nice in there. Y'all can't see through the window, but I can. And it looks like they are currently open for business. So I would imagine they open around 11 o'clock. If you're interested in trying the bar and restaurant here, the Manola. Opened in 2003, so it has been here for a while. So this is still, I told you that the Rosa International was pretty large. This is still Rosa International property across the street here. And then over here to my left is IHOP. For international guests, everybody always says go to IHOP or Denny's. I've said this in many videos before, I'm gonna say it again, go to Waffle House. I'm not saying don't go to IHOP, but don't go to IHOP every time you get breakfast. Try Waffle House at least once. Denny's right across the street. America's Diner. And surprise, surprise. There's another iDrive gift shop over here. This one is called Gift Shop Lowest Prices. T-shirts for $1.99. And you get a free gift with an iHop receipt. They got mugs for 99 cents. They have on sale luggage. We got souvenirs, keychains. That's pretty cool. There are tons of those gift shops on iDrive and in the Kissimmee area, like Lake Point of Vista, Disney Town. There's all sorts of gift shops. Why not window shop in this one too, huh? We window shopped in all the other ones. Right now they have Disney shirts, two for 18. There's some uh, adult content there. I'll just skim over that. They have like these little dolphin things. Some like little seashell items. Mugs for ice cold beer. Salt and pepper shakers. What'd you get, Mountain Dew? Zero. Sugar. Mountain Dew Zero. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna take a sip of that. I got it for you. Ooh, nothing like a Mountain Dew Zero to get you going. We're just gonna take a oh, quick. Look at some dog stuff in there. We're gonna do a quick, quick peek in this one. 
got hats. Looks like they got some dog bowls and some personalized uh, bar signs. Some stuff up here on the ceiling. So if you're looking for a cheap Disney gift for friends or family, this is another little gift shop for you to check out here. Florida t-shirts. I already told them about IHOP and Denny's and that they should go to Waffle House instead. I already let them know. It's the other way. Yeah, I told them to watch the International Drive Walking Tour Part 2 to figure out where uh, Waffle House is, as well as, as well as Del Taco. Uh, Burger King, which I used to love. I'll still smash some Burger King every now and then. Now, this one here, this particular uh, Burger King on iDrive is under new management. And I have been here a couple of times since it's changed for breakfast before my early morning bar shift at Murphy's on Saturdays for the Premier League football. And I will say that it is a lot better run than it was prior to the new management. Right there across the street, there it is, which is where we're gonna end the tour, sort of. Uh, I am gonna loop back around to the... Yeah, there's one spot that I really wanna check out. What's one spot? I forget what it's called, but it's over there. It's kind of abandoned. It's really across the street. Yeah, we're going to loop back across the street over there. Oh. This used to be Hulk Hogan's Beat Shop. I've never actually been inside here. Well, now it's a wrestling shop. But it's Hulk Hogan's Wrestling Shop. I hear rumors that there is a wrestling ring inside of this shop. As well as, yeah, we'll go and we'll take a peek inside. Neither of us have ever been inside before. Popeyes is not on this part of iDrive. It's back down just a little bit, but you can get there from here. I recommend the red beans and rice, and um, Taylor likes their spicy chicken tenders. With buffalo sauce. With buffalo sauce. Buy you buffalo. Buy you buffalo. That's Taylor's recommendation. Hulk Hogan's Wrestling Shop. Obviously, there's a bunch of Hulk Hogan pictures here on the front I didn't get in, into wrestling until last year at Murphy's Murphy shows Monday Night Raw every Monday speaking of Rhea Ripley was at Universal Orlando yesterday yesterday on Mother's Day we're recording this on Monday May 13th no public restrooms brother brother <laughs> look at that that's pretty cool there is a ring in here it's pretty small, but there is a ring in here. Please talk to the staff before getting into the ring. Please do not sit on the ring. But I think there's like photo opportunities and stuff in there that you can do. They got some cardboard cutouts here. So if you're a wrestling fan, Hulk Hogan's wrestling shop is Definitely the place to come. There's a little ramp here that you can use after you talk to staff to get inside. Please talk to me before getting into the ring, brother. Talk to the front. There are signs all over. Let people know not to just get into the ring. There's some life-size little statues here as well. Uh, you can take pictures next to. This is pretty cool. Uh, looks like there's some signed posters over here as well. This is really cool. Take a look at just one more little section of these. Looks like he signed these. Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. I don't know if y'all ever seen Rocky Three, but They got some tank tops over here. They are showing wrestling matches on one of the TVs. This is pretty cool in here. Hulkamania shirts. There's a bike over here. This is pretty cool. It's like Tommy Hart, a little Tommy Hart statue here. I don't know who this guy is in the blue get up. Like I told you, I'm not super familiar with like classic wrestlers. Ronda Rousey, pioneer for women's MMA. Everyone always says that she's the original pioneer. I don't know if I agree with that. A lot of people forget about Gina Carano. 
That was cool, and it was nice and cool in there as well. Very Over here is Perkins. That's a good um, breakfast spot. It's a good spot to come. They also have a nice bakery in there if you're looking for like cinnamon rolls or like specialty breads. Oh, they got really good uh, pie. They got really good pie, according to Taylor. Coconut cream pie. Coconut cream in particular at the Perkins. And across the street here, is the world's biggest McDonald's. It's three stories. I know there is um, like brick oven pizzas. You can get omelets. Phillies. They have fillies. Um, there's a like a arcade on the third floor. I've heard. Right? There's an arcade oh, no, up there. there. I'm go. pretty sure there's an arcade in there. I think we are gonna go across the street and take a look inside of the big McDonald's. Hopefully they'll let me film in there. I don't know why they wouldn't. I was worried about the Hulk store. Yeah, well, we didn't even ask. We just did it in there. Oh, I hate crossing over here. I've never done it. We're not going to go across the street today. But that way is Icon Park. There's a big nightclub. There's a new um, restaurant bar. It's called Tom's Bar. It's a sports okay. bar. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they're open. I don't think they're quite open yet. Oh, hey, maybe they are open. It looks like there's like a little outdoor balcony area up there. Let me zoom in. If I can, oh. So you can see there, there's like a little, so you got a nice little view. There is a Walgreens over here. I think this Walgreens is a little bit nicer than the other one, which is like all the way down that way. It does smell over here. Took a There's a Cooper's Hawk. Um, it's like a winery, but they have food and stuff there too. There's a Starbucks, a UPS store, a BJ's Brew House. Um, there is a Disney store in the first level of the, where Tom's Bar is. There's a small Disney store there. And there's also a Checkers across the street. I like Checkers. They have good burgers. There's also a Circle K behind the uh, Big McDonald's, which is one of my favorite restaurants. They have really good chicken wings if you're looking for a quick snack. Wait, where? At Circle K. They have really good gas station chicken wings. They also have a really good breaded chicken sandwich. Um, there's a Golden Corral and a Kobe as well uh, right across the street that way. Um, if you're an international guest and you've never been to a Golden Corral, you need to take yourself over to the Golden Corral. You're gonna have yourself a good time. They have, they have like prime rib on Fridays, I believe. Their rolls are they really have good. Too, I think. Oh, I didn't know they were open for breakfast. Come on, go. Welcome to the world's largest entertainment McDonald's, according to the sign. As you can see. This McDonald's is rather big. There's a Circle K back there. Looks like gas is only $3.49. Now, this McDonald's is a little bit more expensive than your average McDonald's. So don't get a sticker shock and think that all the McDonald's uh, are this expensive. Yeah, I'll take another drink. Pretty busy in here. Quite a few people. Have a little bar here. And Captain America toys for the Happy Meal right now. There's an elevator, but it looks to be out of service. There's a cool little Disney photo booth in here. You can get some Disney pictures. At Disney themed frames and characters. It's ten dollars. It's ten bucks to do the Disney photo booth. Yeah. There's a little shot there of the different options that they have. We're gonna go ahead and go up to the second floor. There's an arcade. Well, this is like a proper arcade in here. Claw game. 
Let me zoom out one here. There we go. Basketball. There's the uh, Ticket Redemption Center over there if you're looking to get some prizes. Ski ball. There's an Angry Birds game. Gold fishing. This is pretty cool. I know, yeah, Taylor's favorite is ski ball. They got it over here. Yeah, they got some over here too, I think. Um, I don't know if you guys remember Flappy Bird. I thought that was discontinued. Maybe that dude sold it. Who knows? Uh, ball throwing game, down the clowns. Classic carnival game. You can get yourself a bunch of tickets on this one. A little sort of wheel game. There is a racing game of some sort over here. Uh, Jura Jurassic Park. Oh, there's a Jurassic Park game. There's some racing games over here. Raw thrills. I'm just going to take a second here to watch this. It looks like this is a shooter. Jurassic Park in chaos. Iceman. Huh. That's pretty crazy. A Nerf game? I've never seen a Nerf arcade game. That's really cool. Looks like there is a piano keys game. See how hard you can whack the thing game. Whack and win, this is called. That's pretty cool. They got a grab and win claw machine over here with My Hero Academia characters in it. Deku. Oh my. That's pretty cool. Here's a better shot of the play place. Pretty big. Another little car game over here. So, I might have lied to you guys, it might only be two stories. We're gonna find out. some like alligators in there as well which is cool looks like there's just seating over here I'm gonna come back this way cool little McDonald's neon sign yeah so it is only two stories I thought it was three stories and I also thought there was a dessert bar in here we're probably gonna get flagged for this song we're going to find out. All right. Well, that's the big McDonald's. We'll see you guys over uh, at that spot across the street that we wanted to look at. We're not as far down as we were originally planning on being to restart the video. We are right next to the former Game Changers. They got closed. There's a cool little fountain here. No one knows what Game Changers is. Well, it used to be Game Changers, so what am I doing? A Duncan. Oh yeah. Well, we're by Duncan. It looks like there is another putt putt place over here. I don't know if it's still open. No, it's abandoned. It's abandoned. There is a elephant statue over here, and uh, what is that? Like a, uh, what are the, What kind of saurus is that? Do you know? I'm not the best with dinosaurs. I can't think of it though. Right now. Bronchio, bronchia. Yeah, the Brachiosaurus. Yeah. Brachiosaurus. We're just walking. We're just walking Volcano Island Miniature Golf that is uh, clearly not operational at the moment. No trespassing, private property. We're just 
the uh, area is a little overgrown. I'm assuming there used to be water in this little area here. It's obviously all dried up by this point. And they got what looks like, I don't know, tiki themed stuff here on the pole. It says welcome on this one. Volcano Island Miniature Golf. My wife Taylor is very into abandoned structures. In the Orlando area. In the Orlando area specifically. Is that me? And it looks like there is a Hampton Inn hotel over here. So another little hotel that's kind of tucked away. Um, it's not right on I Drive, which is back that way. There is a large-looking cave-like structure up here. Looks like there might be some sort of raptor statue that Taylor has spotted up here. Where's the raptor at? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm assuming this was all filled with water before. All this area here. There's the uh, <laughs> the raptor statue that is missing an arm. This looks like it uh, used to be like an elevated bridge, uh, hole 15 over there. Get you a little better view here. I'll go up over the fence. See if we can't get a better view of this uh, one-armed raptor over here. He's definitely showing his age. We're going glasses up again because the sun has again disappeared behind the cloud. There's a one-armed raptor. Boy, he is he is weathered at this point. Still scary, that's for sure. Looks like she's doing a whole lap. There's the bridge. There's uh, a lot of ivy on the structures over here. Another little cave-like looking deal here. I wanted to go over top of this again. Little cave-like area here. I'm gonna zoom back out one. Here's uh, one of the old holes. Still got some of the green turf down. Let's see if we can get in past here. Yeah, there you go. You can see the, that's an old hole right there. I wonder what number this one is. I don't see it anywhere. Number 13, hole number 13 at the abandoned putt-putt course by the Hampton Inn and Suites, which is still very much operational. Looks like there's a little pool area over here behind those bushes. Here's a look at another little awning cave area. Hole 11 is up there. We're gonna circle around. It looks like there's another dinosaur statue. Now my nephew, he I believe is seven years old now. I know at one point he was pretty into dinosaurs. My nephew. There is another uh, little dinosaur statue over here. Also looking pretty weathered. We'll zoom in on that again. Look at that guy. Wow. 
I would imagine that it was an 18 hole putt putt. That's what I would imagine. I assume that that is pretty standard. Okay, so now we'll see you guys over across the street from where we started. So just a quick update before we get to the shopping complex that we've been trying to get to this whole time. That looks like there is no longer a slingshot over here at the former Magical Midway. I was not aware that they got rid of the slingshot, but it's gone. So if you want to do the slingshot, where do you have to go now? Is there one on iDrive anymore? I don't, think there's one. I don't even think there's one on iDrive anymore. Yeah. So it looks like you might have to go down to Old Town. If you want to do a slingshot, I was not aware. I work down here. I come down here every weekend and I did not notice that that was gone. Yeah, you're not good at like looking at detail stuff like I am. I also did not notice the what large golf ball uh, by the Gator Golf for months. Here it is. Here's where we want to go. We finally made it. Yeah, there's the tower. The tower is down. There's one of the towers for the slingshot. It looks like the slingshot is no longer operational over here at the former Magical Midway, which I was unaware of. That's pretty interesting. So now we're finally across the street from Gator Golf and Murphy's Pub, and we're right next to the Buffalo Wild Wings and the Lava Hookah Lounge and Bar. You can see Volcano Bay from here as well. Here is the hookah bar and lounge, the lava hookah bar and lounge, which I believe is still open. Let's see if we can't find some hours over here. Might not be open. This is going to be another uh, Google search. I will add information to the video if we uh, figure out what's going on over here at 7052 International Drive. There's an Ethiopian restaurant that doesn't open until 5 o'clock. 5 to 9, Monday through Friday. And it looks like noon to nine on the weekends. Take a look at their menu here. We got some appetizers. They got lamb, poultry, beef and steak. Another few vegetarian items at this one as well. They have a full bar, which in Orlando you want to pay attention to, whether or not it's full liquor or not. A lot of places in the Orlando area have uh, what's called wine-based liquor, which is another discussion entirely. And here is the World's Magic Restaurant. Looks like that's open. And this Hush Speakeasy looks like it is not open. The door is open, so I'm gonna just peek. I'm gonna just do a little peek over here. No, that is, uh, whatever is going on in there does not look like it is in business. It was a long one, but it was a fun one. Uh, that's iDrive Walking Tour Part 3. Uh, we have a few more to do. We have some more to look at. I had a good enough time. Thanks for hanging out. See you next time.